Outdoors, and today I'm bringing you a review of Predators 2 City Hunter Predator 1 6 Go figure. And the awesome thing about this is this is the first time I ever got a Hot Toys figure in the brown box. Alright, guys, so right off back, I'm loving this box. It is awesome. Um, I really like red and black. That's just a, that's just one of my colors, as you guys can see. Bucket hat. So yeah, they did a cool job on this box. You know, read City Hunter Predator Predators 2, by the way. I always wanted to get this guy, and he was actually supposed to be the first Predator I was gonna get, but I just didn't get him at the time, and I kind of regretted it. But you know, I'm happy they came out with another one. So you know, that's really cool. So let's get into the review and everything. As I said before, here's the box. Awesomeness and just really really cool um red and black got nice little you know warning labels and whatnot and it's a slip cover by the way so it just reads city predator that nice little cool alien looking look with the three dots and predators predators 2 and by the way i got this from corner store comics so they gave me a good price on this about 200 and plus dollars so that's pretty cool and yeah so Basically what you do is you just take the slip cover off and we reveal this most awesome figure and it's just slip cover by the way. Nothing really important about that. So you just put that to the side. So here we have the coolest predator almost ever. So here we have City Hunter and this guy's looking awesome. Um, so as you guys can see, if you guys can see that, um, we have him. You know the city, um, city hunter. We have all his um, manables, um, breathing mask, hands right there, extra joints, a mask, um, med pack. Oh, I'm really happy about that because I don't have a predator that has a med pack. And then you know, um, amputated arm and some more hands and some more accessories too. Okay, guys. So here we have city hunter predator from Predator Two. And this guy is amazing. So first off, the scope work on this guy is amazing. I love his armor. I love everything about him. Um, his tan color look, the contrast that they use, the browns, the tans, the blacks is just amazing. It all goes with this guy. Um, first off, his armor is nice. They use that nice glossy brown or rust color, if you will, kind of mixed in with some gold. That's what I see, you know, kind of colorblind. But I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, so you know that nice brownish look just everywhere around on his helmet, on his armor pieces, um, just all around. If you guys can see this, um, really really nice. I'm um, just set him back down in his little cradle piece. So yeah, this guy is really cool nice. for articulation. He does have a ball jointed head and ball jointed shoulders, which are pretty cool and common in every predator. And then to the um um elbow joints there are also bend at the elbow and have a little swivel so it can go 360 if it wanted to and also when you get to his hands they have some motion where it can go 360 and kind of on a sort of a ball joint so his hands can actually go up and down and whatnot on both but um this one is kind of restricted because of his blade gauntlet thing so that's pretty awesome so as you guys get further down into this area right here he actually um has some rotation so you guys can actually move him right there and then I have to pick this guy up. And then if you get lower to the crotch area, his legs are on ball joints. And I like this about this figure is they added, you know, I feel they added um, some more nettings to where he can actually move his legs more openly and widely. And, you know, you don't have to worry about the netting ripping or anything. So then as we get lower to the bottom, um, the uh, knee joints are actually bendable, you know, movable swivels. And, you know, bend at the knee if you wanted to. And it can go back and forward. And then you get to the bottom and his feet are on some type of ball joints where they can go up um back and forth um just popped this out they can go back and forth and you know um side to side if you wanted to so they have some articulation in there so we just put this guy down yeah um for the detail the detail is just amazing guys as you guys can see on his helmet it's just that nice glossy paint you know um not indentations but you know i guess wear and tear over the over the years of him being a predator and him fighting so that's pretty cool and then if you get lower into his chest area he has like a little insignia in his chest i don't know if that's supposed to be there or if that's just you know part of it so that's pretty cool and then his like his armor is just freaking nice if you guys can see this i just love this piece for some reason it's like he reminds me of like a falcon or a bird or something because it's like pointy and feathery so that just gives me the look of a bird um, you know, nice chest piece that that's just nice. And then, you know, you guys can see his, um, his stomach area and chest underneath that. And that's pretty cool. And then if you turn, you can actually get into his shoulder pieces. Uh, why does his head keep popping off? You can get into his shoulder pieces, which are actually, um, you know, single, they're not connected to this, like, um, scar or classics from predators. Um, you know, this one piece, so you can actually slide that on and slide that off. 
and you know um, he has his gauntlet again to this arm where it actually kind of open um, let me try and get that I'm trying to get the piece to open yeah. and it can actually open but I never understood why does his gauntlet open like that it's just something I didn't understand why would they have it open like that but oh well we could just close that back up and you know you guys see that detailing on there and then if we turn them back around to the other side, you guys can see the um, different armor shoulder piece right here. And it's also individual, so it's not really connected. Well, actually, it is collected, connected, my bad. So, yeah, and then you get to his gauntlet. You have his nice little metal blades, which are actually real die-cast metal, so that's pretty cool. And his gauntlet, which is actually different from other Predators. Um, it has a real different look to it and it's a different color so that's pretty cool and then as we get down to the bottom we have this little crotch piece you know um, held on by string and that's pretty cool and then you have his actual piece and these um, side pieces are actually really hard plastic except for this side it's hard plastic but it actually has some rotation and that is actually where he holds his spinning disc and then you guys can see on his pouches you guys see um, his pouch um, you know the back pieces where it's another um, piece that's held together by the um, by string so that's pretty cool and then you guys can get into his back where he has his plasma cannon his med kit and his whole back area which is really really nice and he comes with a nice little satchel if you guys can see that that has bone actually sculpted onto the satchel so it's not an individual piece you know not too big of a deal and then as we get to the bottom you guys can see the predator um, knee pads that's pretty cool and you have the other knee pad they're all both individuals so you can slide those on and off and then you guys have this the calf area armor so that's pretty cool um i don't know if you can take that off or put it on i don't want to see i don't want to try we'll just leave it on there no need to take it off and then he has this famous neck gun oops that just pegs into um his leg piece like so uh get that in there guys and yeah it just pegs in there and you actually can put it on his hand so yeah well, accessories this guy comes with a ton of accessories and let's just get into them so for first one accessory he has the hollowed out breathing apparatus mask which is pretty cool um if you're gonna do it actually you hook it you can actually have him hold this one in his hand because it doesn't have the pieces for him to um peg in but here is the one that pegs in um you know it's sculpted in has a sculpted mattable so you could take off this mask and put it in and it pegs into the back so that's pretty cool and you know he has one to hold one to peg in so that's pretty cool we'll just put that right here then he has a nice selection of hands let's just get these hands so other than the ones that he has pegged in right now he has this nice relaxed hand which actually pegs in onto his right side or left side my bad excuse me and this is actually to hold the neck gun um, we'll get into that later then he has a closed fist hand which actually plugs into this one so he can actually use his gauntlet a little bit better so you know has some nice detailing on there so that's pretty cool then he has this kind of open hand where he can actually hold his disc so that's pretty cool you know really really nice and you put that to the side then he has his pointing finger so just in case he wants to take the easy way out he can just boop 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 and blow up everything and then he has another relaxed hand so just to sit there um you know soft plastic in the fingers but hard plastic and things so that's pretty cool and then for some other accessory he does come with um clothes manables so you can actually take his helmet off and put in these clothes manables or if you don't want the clothes manables you guys can actually get this cool awesome manables which are actually really pointy so that's pretty cool you guys can just put that in there and just put that to the side and then you have his cut off amputated arm which is pretty pretty cool um you know mine is actually kind of tight so it kind of sucks i gotta loosen that up somehow so yeah you know ooh, ooh, um you know um his um chopped off hand or arm or forearm so you know put some nice little greens in there so that's really cool and you guys can actually just take out this arm and peg that in so that's pretty cool we'll just put that to the side and then he comes with the coolest piece of it all this cool ripped out human skull which is nice and bloody i always wanted to get one of these guys and i finally have a human skull so brah also he does have some other accessories that i already put in on him so we'll get into that when we get into it so for one here is his spear his spear is really nice um really really cool it's actually retractable so if you guys don't want him to have it out we can actually close this spear and it's really pointy so please keep away from small children or whatever so you don't poke them in the eye or anything so you guys can actually close this spear and it's really really nice um some nice detailing on there um browns reds and you can start to see some kind of wiring but it doesn't have a little oh it does have a little stuff destruct thing on there i guess that's the self destruct but i'm not too sure you guys can just put that in his hand and that's pretty cool and if you guys want to even get even cooler into this guy he actually comes let's just move that side he has his gauntlet which is actually you can pull him out and put him in 
you know, mine is kind of stiff right now, so I have to play with that. So these are actually retractable and you can pull them out. And then you have a spinning disc, which is really, really cool. Like I've told you guys, um, you guys can actually pull it open and close it and just peg it right back into his thigh piece. So that's pretty cool. And we can just leave that there. I hope you don't fall out, man. Please don't fall out. And then also, I don't know if you call this an accessory, but um, his little satchel piece, you guys just have to pop his head off and put it on there in just a little bag. I never figured, I, I'd never seen what was in it. I guess I missed that part if they did show it. So, oh well. And then if we get to the back, this is what I really wanted to do. I'm gonna have to use a stand for this. I have to put them on standing backwards. Uh, so weird. So yeah, here's this um, back piece. Um, he comes with his plasma cannon, which is, actually has some um, articulation in it. Um, you actually can move it and then pull it up and then actually have him face um, you know, any direction. It's on a little ball joint, so that's cool. And if you don't want it in arm mode, you actually can pull that back down and then close it back down. But mine is kind of loose, so you know, it's just gonna wobble right there for you guys. And yeah, so something else that I wanted to get into, here is this med pack, the most famous thing that I've always wanted in a Predator that I've never gotten out of the three that I've already had. They never came with med packs. So, oh well. So here's his med pack. Really, really nice. If you guys want to get into it, we can actually open this guy up, flip that open, pull this down, and it starts to reveal all his little tools that he used into the movie. So you guys can flip that open, and then after you pull it down, uh, you guys can actually pop this open, and voila, it comes with all the little cool accessories that you guys can see. Yeah, guys, it has all these cool little accessories, if you guys can see that, all the tools you use, they are um, sculpted into there, so they are not removable. But, you know, you, who wants to have all these little pieces where they can just fall and get lost and then you get pissed off? And if you guys want to close it, you just close the two sides, like so, pull this down, close that in, pop that closed. And you have the med kit closed. Med kit, and you actually just slide it back onto his cool bag. You have to move the dreads out the way, but out of the way. So you guys just do that. And voila. You just have that sitting right there. Another cool thing function is for the helmet, the biomass. He actually has an LED function that I shall show you right now. Here we go. I'm about to activate his LED light function. So what you do is there's a little switch on the back where you just plug in and voila. There is his LED light function. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I would honestly say that his LED light function is way better than Scar's just because Scar's holes were a little bit too small and you guys would really couldn't see it on camera. So I'm guessing you guys can see this on camera. I'm hoping. So yeah, that's his LED light function. I actually can turn it on and off like so. And that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so I wanted to hop into his face, all of his LED light on. If you guys don't want to display him with the face mask, you guys can actually unpeg the little wire that leads to the LED. Um, I have to find it real quick. Uh, you unpeg that, then you just slip off his mask and reveals his nice, beautiful, good looking face of Predator. And he is looking awesome. So, you know, we can't just display him with no mouth or no teeth. So what we do is we get this nice little jaw piece. We insert that right there. So that's pretty cool. And we'll go for the closed mouth look for right now. We just put in one side of the mandibles. So that's pretty cool. Or the, my bad, that's the open mouth. We put in one side. Uh, then we put in the other. And there you have the nice, cool looking um, open mouth city predator. And he's looking amazingly awesome. I like the open mouth look. For some reason with the closed mouth look, it's just too relaxed for me and I can't deal with it but you know just for the viewers sake we'll just take these out like so and then insert his closed mouth manibles so that's pretty cool um for some reason my closed mouth manibles um they're actually pretty loose in there so i don't know why who cares they they'll hold and yeah you guys can display him with his closed mouth you know this closed mouth isn't bad but you know i don't like displaying him with that so, and if you guys don't want this, we can actually put in his breathing apparatus mask where you take these two mountable pieces out and you take out the middle piece, like so. Then you grab his, um, this piece and you just insert those two into there and you can have the movie, uh, can't get the other side, oh, there we go. And we just pop that in there and there you have him with the um, breathing apparatus mask on and oops his disc fell out and then to um, get the other piece we just peg this into the back of him right here uh, and it just pegs in and it's a long wire so you know 
um, you won't have any trouble like with the um, scar biomass where he has that side wire which is kind of too short and it wouldn't work so yeah there you have him with his nice breathing apparatus mask on so let's get into his arm piece alright guys as you guys may or may not know in the movie he actually get his arm cut off so you guys are saying why didn't they give us the arm piece they did so what you guys want to do is you guys actually can un unpeg this, just a little twist in motion back and forth and eventually it will come out and you guys can take this out and you guys can take this nice greenish gooey cut off arm piece and start twisting it in there and it just twists in pretty good. Um, I think you can actually kind of feel a click. Yeah, you feel that little click and there you have the arm. It's fully posable and you know he has a nice green cut off arm so that's pretty cool they they use some nice greens in there and i'm really liking that if you guys can see that and it's just really really nice and sexy looking well we guys can actually just redo what we did unscrew this piece uh, until it comes out and then you can take his um his whole arm and actually put that in there like so and it just pops in there and that's pretty pretty nice and we are not done with this arm we also can take a look at his gauntlet, which opens a weird way. I never got why they wanted to do it this way, but hey, you know, that's what they wanted to do. And if you guys want, you guys can actually take a look at his cool little gauntlet pieces where it has the nice little numbers and such of the countdown self-destruction, and that's pretty cool. And also, if you guys want, you guys can close this and actually peg out his hand. Oops. Peg out one of, the, one of his hands, put this peg back in. Ugh. These pegs are really stiff. Um, you know, take one of the relaxed hands if you want. You can either take this one, but I'm actually gonna go with this one because it just fits better. Oh, can get that. Um, you just peg this back in. Uh, cannot get find the hole. You just peg that in, and then you can actually take his neck gun, take the neck gun like so, and then just peg this into his hand. Uh, try and get that pinky in there. The pinky is the thing that kills it. And there you have his neck gun, his neck gun on his hand, and you know fits pretty well. And if you guys don't want that, you guys can just take this back off and peg it into his um into his um calf piece. So yeah, there's his relaxed hand. You guys can take that out if you guys don't want that, and just put him back with his closed fist hand. I like the closed fist better. Also, again, if you guys don't want this spear in his hand, you guys can take out the spear and do the most coolest thing ever: take out the nice bloody skull. And put it into his nice hand um, for the hand you guys can it's like a gripping motion to where you can um kind of like you guys might have to maneuver it in there like so and you guys can have him holding it or have him like you might have and have him just hold the skull in his hand um it works pretty good I'm really liking that um you know the nice bloody skull like they use a the nice breads and browns and you know just a nice mixture to it and also if you guys don't want that you guys can actually take the skull out forget this hand take this hand out oh why are these things always on pegging and then take that out get his other hand peg in this hand and peg this into his arm and then get his spinning disc if you will um open it up a little and try and position that in there as best as you can and voila there you have his cool little spinning disc um you know fits perfectly in his hand doesn't really fall out as much if you position it right so yeah and also if you guys don't want that in you guys can actually take that out take these pieces out take his hand out again and peg in the um, closed fist hand so where you guys can just have his gauntlet um his gauntlet i'm not too sure on like um mine is retractable like it comes in and out but it's kind of stiff to the point where I don't know if they're both individual pieces or what because it does have some movement in there so I don't want to break mine um, so that's as far as it can kind of come out and I don't want to risk t tearing it out even more so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this review of City Hunter Predators 2 I'm really liking this guy he is going right on my shelf you are awesome man I'm happy they did this guy the dreads are nice the armor is like I'm loving that armor and yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to it's Oris or it's Scott Oris if you will and if you want to add me on Facebook or on Instagram please try and comment I want to know if you guys are liking these reviews what do you guys want me to review next yeah thanks guys peace